Hey guys, Thundi E here and welcome back to the video you've been waiting for, gaming on the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. Yes, I know you guys have been waiting for this, it's finally here. Now before we move ahead, big shout out to our sponsor of this video, Spigen. They've got great accessories for your iPhone 14 Pro, just the iPhone 14 series line in general, and some we'll see here in this video. So. Yeah, I know you guys have been waiting. I apologize, it's taking a little bit because I ran into an issue. I cannot show you FPS uh, benchmarks on any of the games other than Apex Legends because my benchmark tool, GameBench, doesn't have support yet for the iPhone 14 because this video is before launch, by the way. So, uh, you know, once it gets updated, I'll do that. Now, some of you also suggested Perf Dog. I did try that and I ran into the very same issue. So I decided, look, I'm gonna talk about some of like the innate benchmarks with Geekbench. We'll show some gameplay, we'll listen to some audio, and then we'll talk about certain things on the device and then, then we'll look at what at least Apex gets us right there. Now, before we even move ahead, let's talk about the display. Now, we have Dynamic Island. That's something that's new and quite interesting for a lot of people. You're going, how will that affect your gameplay? Honestly, it really doesn't. I mean, for me, I usually have, of course, the notch on the left-hand side, and it might cover up some menus while you're navigating, but it doesn't really hinder your gameplay in any way. Speaking of this display in general, though, ProMotion is smooth, it feels like butter, playing your shooters really works well, and I like the fact that the, you know, the max need brightness of 1600, yes, not 2000 outdoors, is great. Now this kind of brings me to the first thing I want to talk about from Speedgain. That is the Glass TR Easy Fit. I like it because you need to protect that. And honestly, you guys didn't know I was using it right here. That's how good, thin, and durable it is. I like it because it's kept my iPhones protected over the years. I will always use it and definitely should pick it up. So let's jump into our very first benchmark reading that is from Geekbench 5 and we're looking at our CPU scores for both devices. Here you can clearly see that the iPhone 14 Pro uh, beats out the iPhone 14 Pro Max but slightly. You know you can see the single core and the multi-core scores right there. Uh, pretty solid overall and probably the highest you see from any device currently on the market. Now looking of course at the compute scores again the 14 Pro beats out the 14 Pro Max uh, right there, but some really impressive scores overall. So I definitely like that. Let's move over to some gameplay because that's what you guys came to see here. So Call of Duty Mobile, we can play at, you know, ultra settings and medium, which is probably the highest I've seen. And it looked and felt really smooth. You guys saw it for yourself. What do you think there? I liked it. It was really nice. Plus the audio. And you're going to see it as a recurrent theme as you look, as you look at more gameplay. Audio was really great. Now, in terms of temperatures, Call of Duty Mobile, it was like 102, which is actually uh, was actually not bad, but a little higher than I expected. Going over to Genshin Impact, which of course is our temperature demon. I played this game for about 30 minutes or so, and, and here I got some really solid gameplay. I ran it at 60 frames per second. I can't, of course, show you what it was, but it ran pretty small. There were a few hiccups here and there, but nothing too crazy, uh, but it felt standard from what I could expect. Now, when it comes to temperatures here, though, uh, I got temperatures about 112, which actually is an improvement from last year where I was getting about 114 to 117 on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So. I like that improvement in temps, but 112 is still a little bit high for me. Why? This is why I love that, of course, cryo armor case. Now, that is my favorite case that I've used from Spigen on the Galaxy S22 uh, Ultra. I loved it because it helped bring temperatures down, and in this case here, it will do exactly the same thing. So it has the Arctic Flow technology with graphite and silicon to help absorb heat, and then you've got that air cube pattern that basically um, allows for better ventilation for your devices, which is pretty great. Plus, you do have nice bumpers around, so this will protect it from drops and falls as well. But the great thing is running another temperature read after I actually gamed with this, I got temperatures at 107. So at least I got a nice reduction of about four to five here in terms of degrees. This is all in Fahrenheit. I liked it. And definitely if you're playing any other game, you much you get much lower temperatures using this case really solid overall. All right, 
PUBG Mobile ran really well out of course really extreme as you would expect, felt really smooth, good gameplay and again great audio from this. Now, when we played at Ultra HD Ultra, uh, I felt it looked a little jittery to me, but that's just something, you know, I would have to measure and see, but that's usually around 40 frames per second there. I don't know what you guys thought. What do you think about the gameplay there at Ultra HD Ultra? Now, moving over to Apex Legends, the one game that we can actually get benchmarks from, I definitely ran it at the recommended settings and I got 40 frames per second on there. Uh, again, it played well, really smooth. I really like Apex Legends Mobile is, is, is a nice game to play. Uh, then I also ran it at at least the highest setting. I went to the Ultra and I got 60 frames per second. This was great because I was able to see this push uh, to a nice solid frame rate. I haven't seen this yet from other devices, uh, but I'll go ahead and check. I do like the fact that it ran really well for both. So you can see that the iPhone uh, 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max do a really good job in actually playing games as well as you like. Now, when we move over to Game Streaming Server 6, Xbox Game Pass, I mean, and Stadia both played well. Game Pass playing uh, Wildlands, that actually was really solid. I loved the fact that I actually gamed pretty well um, and I was able to play with no issues. Same thing with uh, uh, Mortal Kombat on Stadia, that also played very well. Now you guys can see I'm using two controllers here. Uh, both are game mobile controllers. One is Backbone, the other is Razer Kishi V2. The main thing I wanted to check here with these two is would they actually fit properly with the new improved cameras on the 14 Pro Max, especially with the slightly bigger bump. And it still did fit. So I like that there with both the Backbone and Razer Kishi V2. Whichever one works for you, uh, you can go ahead and check those out. Now, you are probably wondering what about battery life, especially in this gaming session. So I started off playing the Pro Max uh, for about an hour. I started at 96% and I got down to about 77%. While with the iPhone 14 uh, Pro, I started at uh, 99 and in about 45 minutes of gameplay, I got down to about 77%. So really solid there and I liked the way it handled. Plus, you know, um, if you're gonna be gaming for a while, you definitely need a charger, something Apple just doesn't provide. And that's why I would also recommend the ArcStation um, chargers. Now they've got the 352, which is a charger that yeah, does 30 watt supports the new charging speeds for the Pro and Pro Max. And then you've also got uh, the 452 and the 652. I personally like to use the 652 because I can use it to charge uh, both devices and I can also use it to charge as well like my, my MacBook or my laptop, this kind of thing. And it kind of brings everything together. So the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro Max from what I can see, do a really good job at gaming. The temperatures have come down, which is great. Uh, I like, I'm glad to see that it's there. It's not super high, but it's still high. Uh, but the audio quality, ProMotion looks pretty fantastic. And I know guys, I'm sorry. You, could, you, you couldn't get to see FPS uh, counters for all the games, but I promise I will have that video for you, showing you how, of course, uh, they perform against, you know, the co competition from, Snapdragon and MediaTek. But in the meantime though, if you just got your iPhone 14 Pro Max or the 14 Pro, you wanna set it up an eSIM, go check out that video out there. And if you wanna see a full speaker test uh, against also the Galaxy and the Z Fold 4, then check that as well. Stay tuned guys and enjoy entertainment.